it's, it's, it's happening. happening. It's happening. It's happening. There's sheep in the road. Oh my God. We were told it was going to happen. It's real. <laughs> How's it going, guys? My name is Miranda, and today I'm with James. Hi. Right. And we're somewhere really cool, actually. I don't know. You can. We are? I don't know. Can you tell through the window where we are? If you could, that'd be impressive. Uh, we're in Ireland right now. Uh, in Dublin to be exact. But right now we're gonna go explore Dublin for a little bit. We just got in and uh, it's raining, but... We're still gonna walk around. We're still gonna walk around. Let's go. Woo. We just went into the cathedral here. It's really cool. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Very nice. And now we're going to walk around to, uh, I believe there's gardens on the other side. Yep. to the Chesterbini Museum. Ah, we're gonna go museum. Museum, yes. Dublin has a lot of good museums, so we're gonna go check out one. A lot that area. Yes, all right. And the rain kind of died down, so we can actually see. And that is a wrap on day one in Ireland. Day one, Dublin. Specifically Dublin. Mm. Tomorrow we have a lot planned, but um, the rest of the night we went out to get dinner at this really fun place. Uh, they had live music and we actually ran into a group of um, other Americans traveling that were... It was a Golden Girls tour group. <laughs> yeah. It was a bunch of women in their uh, late 50s and 60s traveling together. And they were great. <laughs> yeah, they were very funny. So we had fun with them, and then we walked down to the river, and then through all the temple bars. The temple bar district, yeah. yeah. So we, we checked um, out all the cool sites. We didn't go anywhere because we had enough beers at the first place we started at. <laughs> yeah, well, we got dinner. Uh, and then we just kind of walked back to the hotel, and we are, we are exhausted, so we are calling it a night. We'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Okay. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Day two, we just had breakfast at a pretty good cafe. Yeah. Uh, now we're just walking around, where are we? St. Stephen's Green. in like that? Yes. Before it gets its flavor. Hello everyone, day three. Jamie over there just did a heckin' drive. <laughs> How are you doing? 
it went so smoothly. It actually did pretty well. Yeah. It's it's really fun. Um, but we're here, where are we? Uh, trim. 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 Um, and we're here to see a castle, which is right here. We're going to go look at that. That's very big. <laughs> Check out where the magic happens. Oh my goodness. Getting a magic tour. And it's keep it nice and dark in here so I can spy on the invading barbarians. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Wow, this is nice. This is a nice crib you got here. Thank you. I like what you've done with the place. Oh, well, thank you. I really think the dirt floor brings it all together. Oh, yeah, naturally. I like castles. And being in Ireland, castle. Which is pretty cool. Right, Jamie? That's right. We'll probably go see a few more castles. Um, but we're on our way to Galway today. Um, this is our first stop. I don't know if we'll stop again, but maybe. 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 We'll see what's on the way. Yeah. I wonder how good the audio is with the wind. We'll see future me editing this. Sean's Bar, which is apparently one of the oldest pubs in Ireland. Yeah, that's what they claim. That's what they claim. Um, and we're up here in a little secluded area. It's pretty nice. Like, got outside. Mm -hmm. They have the heat lamps on down there. It's, it's not cold enough for that. The inside smells of BO. Yes, so you know it's old. We have made it to Galway. James, what have you done for us? I got us a room at this super swank hotel called Glenlow Abbey. It's pretty posh. Yep, yep. Uh, I wanted Miranda to get something super swank while we were here. Uh-huh. Um, let me just show you our view, which is really nice. <laughs> That's where they do the falconry experience. Yeah, we just saw a guy walking over around with a, like a couple with a falcon on his um, arm. But yeah, we're going to go explore the grounds probably here shortly. Yeah. Uh, we just arrived. Yeah, pretty swanky. Look at this. Just enjoying the vibe. I like getting away from the city for a little bit, yeah. so this is excellent. This is Loch Corrib, I think, is how it's pronounced. Okay. Like Corrib? Corrib. Corrib. C O R R I B. No, that doesn't crack over there. Hey. Hey. We just had dinner. Yeah. Some good seafood dinner. Pretty good. Um, we're uh, just taking a walk around the city. It's nice. Good morning, everyone. Day four. Yeah. Yeah. Today, we actually just had breakfast at that really nice hotel. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. Yeah. Did you enjoy yours? I enjoyed my sam smoked salmon eggs benedict. Yes, it was very nice. Um, I had a smoked salmon omelet, so it was very good. Good salmon. Very good. Um, and now we're on our way to a national park. What's the name of the national park? I don't know. You just said it, and I immediately forgot it. Connemara National Park. Connemara National Park. Tonight is actually a um, Michelin star restaurant that we're going to. Yeah. So come along with us on this journey. Oh look, cows. It's happening. it's happening! They're sheep in the road! Oh my god. We were told it was gonna happen. It's for real. It actually happened. It happened. I mean, it's day four, but it finally happened. Feed the sheep. We could feed the sheep! Should I pull over? You wanna feed sheep? 
Yeah. Okay. Don't hit the sheep though. There's a sheep right there. Hey, buddy. I don't have food yet. Let me go get food. <laughs> Jamie, I think you have fans. Have patience, fellas. You're feeding sheep in Ireland. Yep. Yep. Oh no! I don't. He's over there. Over there. Hey you. Two hands. Double. Double the hands. Double sheep. There you go. You're good dogs. This is the most Irish thing we've done. Pet a sheep. Sheep. Now we got a really nice view over here. I mean, behind me is a really nice view too. I mean, it's Jamie, but also hills. We're not even at the park yet, but uh, this is like views that I'm ex we're expecting. It's just some place. It's just some place. <laughs> We're at the park. We did it. I'm sweaty. It's gorgeous out though. <laughs> right over there, that's the ocean. Right? Yep. The Atlantic Ocean. That's Jamie. He's still here. Let's keep going. Yeah. Yeah. I think we're about halfway. Yeah. Alright, let's Relatively go. Relatively easy. Yeah, Most so far. Uphill. Mostly uphill, but it's not too bad. Yeah. Let's continue on. More Abbey. We should face it that way. Oh, oh, this little thing. Oh, look at that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, we have that, but then they also across have like the most gorgeous view. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little tour. Yes. Let's go. Diverted uh, mountain stream down here, so the flood, flood the boathouse. So there, so they could get the water out. Huh. The boats out. Interesting. Facts. <laughs> Facts with Jamie. Good morning everyone. Um, I've lost count what day it is, but it's Friday. It is actually my birthday today. Happy so. birthday! And birthday breakfast. Thank you. <laughs> Krispy Kreme donuts. What? Yeah, we can't get them in Minnesota, but Ireland has them, so... Get it together, Minnesota. <laughs> um, but no, but last night we went to a Michelin star restaurant and it was really, really good. Called Anyar. Anyar. Well, the, well, the restaurant was like a new Irish cuisine type type of restaurant that mm -hmm. was what they that was what their like thing was yeah. but it was a very fun experience there was like 20 24 courses 24 courses uh four of them were snacks with, yeah with mostly incredible yes um incredible dishes yes and one that made a, one that made us just laugh with how silly it was get cones with row row in it yeah. um there was oh the savory macaron Oh, the save the savory macaron, which was really really good. With, like uh, chicken pate or whatever. chicken chicken liver and other things. Those, then, were, those were shockingly good. Yeah, like, they were so good. 
the, the macaron was like the lightest, fluffiest thing I ever experienced. Like, yeah. Yeah. I've never had uh, like a savory macaron before, yeah. and that was like yeah. just incredible. Yeah, was really but the, the thing that made us laugh the most, I think, was uh, it wasn't even dessert. But uh, it, was it was part of the savory course. I think it was after the main course. It was after the main course. Which was a, which was a really good venison cut. Oh, it was so good. With, the venison was so good. Yeah. Um, with the um, delicious mushrooms that, thank you for the mushrooms. Yeah, I gave Jamie the mushrooms. I tried it. I did. I tried it. People who know me know I don't like mushrooms. I did try it and it made me go, Ugh. And we were all very proud of you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> um, so after the, the main course of venison, they brought out these oyster clam like uh, shells. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, we're in Galway. That's kind of known for oysters. And then the guy goes, oh, here's, this is like oyster ice cream. And I didn't really believe him. And then I took my spoon and it went, oh my, it's, it's ice cream. It's ice cream. Um, and he said about it's a 50-50 chance whether or not people like it. I uh, was confused the entire time because it, it felt like ice cream. The texture, the temperature, it was all ice cream. So the fact that it wasn't sweet and it was in fact very oystery. And the flavor was bang, was bang on. It was it was oyster. Um, yeah, we were like just giggling to ourselves yeah. the entire time. Like, it's, it's, <laughs> it's so weird. We were very giggly. It was the... Very tart. Oh, like the, the ice cream and the honey crumb comb. Yeah, and they had they thing. had like a blueberry tart with like hazelnut ice cream thing. It was so, so good. It was, it, was like was, a, it was like a cycle. Of you take a bite of the tart, then you eat a little bit of the ice cream, and then you, and you have a little, little, sip, little, of little sip of pork dessert wine, and it was like it was wham. it was like the perfect pairing. It was insane. The chip thing that looked like like a coral reef. It was really cool. Like I'll show that now. Yeah. Um, it was like a yeah. It was a themed after coral with and it was yeah. It was some sort of cracker with a, a lobster emulsion. Not emulsion. Some 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 sort of lobster emulsion drops out of it. Mm -hmm. like, uh, it was a very puffy chip. Yeah. For today, we are on our way to Cliff some more, and then Cork and anything in between. Correct. Yeah. Another fun-filled day. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What you see? Lord, I can't bear any news. Lord, I have news. They have a security system right there. Mm -hmm. uh, it used to be open. It used to be open for tourists. Huh. And they're just like, nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Look through the hole. You can see into the castle. Hello? Game castle? There's a lot of swans around here too. More swans together than I've seen, actually. More terrifying than any guard. That's true. So, Ireland has been amazing, but the one thing that I think we both are like, oh, it's like every single road is just on both sides covered by hedges and trees, so it's hard to see out a lot of the time. <laughs> so it makes it hard to show you what we're looking at, and then we have brief moments of like, oh, there it is, it's, it's gorgeous, but I, I don't get my phone out fast enough. We're at the Cliffs of Moor. Yay! We did it! <laughs> After some treacherous driving, we did it. Yeah. Good job, Jamie. You got us here safe. I did it. There was... I'm tired. <laughs> it, was, it was a very windy, a lot of tour buses, very small roads. Terrifying. But we did it. He did it. It was a team effort. No tide here in off common. Some town. I forgot the name already. We just had some really good lunch here at 
this town mm -hmm. or somewhere? Le An Anliacht. Anliacht. It's spelled Le, Le Hinch, but I don't, I don't know. We're not sure. Um, but it's low tide, as you can see. We're in the middle of the ocean. We came from there. We came from that way. The cliffs are over there. Yeah. But look, there's some kind of more right there. A little, a little more. They're little, they're little cliffs, but they're there. Come along with. <laughs> it's happening again. Hey, everybody. We made it to Cork. It took a bit, but we got there. Um, it was a kind of a long day and a little stressful uh, getting to uh, this hotel. It's a very nice hotel, though. Jamie outdid himself once again. It's a lot of driving. It's a lot of driving, and then neither one of us really realized how busy Cork is. It is... It's crazier than Dublin? Uh, yeah, Dublin like I thought lot. was going to be the biggest city, but no, it's Cork. And neither one of us are big city drivers, so that was fun. That was madness. Uh, but it's one night, so one night and then we're out of here. Yep. Um, but it's a really nice hotel. Thank you. You will. Yeah, tonight is just kind of a rest point. Just chill out. We're, we're just going to chill uh, because tomorrow is a distillery tour. And then off to Kilkenny? Correct. All right. So let's keep going. Woo. <laughs> uh, we're at the Middleton Distillery. In Middleton, Ireland. Yeah. Hey, look, that thing behind me. Um, and we just walked inside for a little bit. We are tours in like an hour and a half, but uh, I'm excited for it. It looks, yeah. really cool. it looks really cool inside. I'll show you all around it. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if I'll be able to film the tasting. Good, very mild. Yeah, um, I'm not a big gin fan, but I like this gin. It's, it is mild, but still um, not very floral. No, it's very, no, not very juniper at all. Yeah, and I think that's the kind of gins I like. It's the ones that aren't very floral, um, because otherwise I just feel like I'm drinking a flower. <laughs> So we just did the tasting, the premium whiskey tasting. All very different, all made here, which was really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have a favorite? I think my favorite was the Red Breast 12. Year, 12 year, yeah. yeah. That was really good, very smooth. Very smooth. Um, actually, that one in the Middleton were very smooth. Um, I personally like the smooth whiskeys, mm -hmm. but the Middleton one, it was fun because it was smooth and then it was like spice mm. on the tip of your tongue and then yeah. smooth again. I was surprised by how the, the smell of the Jameson Black Barrel 12 oh. uh, changed like three times yeah. over the course of the the tasting it was one of the reasons why like so tasting i don't like to just drink all of it right away yeah. i know some people did but i like to go back because mm -hmm. i don't know if it's like just letting it air out or the fact that i had other flavors and scents in my nose and tongue but yeah it, it went from like yeah oh, that's good to whoa that's yeah. like really caramely yeah. it was really interesting all right so we are at an abbey what's the abbey called Jerpoint Abbey. Oh yeah, we'll check that, check it out. It's very, very cool looking. I'm very excited to go through it. It's a 12th century Cistercian Abbey located beside the Little Aragal River. All uh, right. Yeah. It's really old cemetery. Apparently it was in operation for 300 years and was shut down in the 1500s. I know, right? You point, point the camera there. You see, I think there's going to be a fog wall right, right there. Right there. Right after the boss kills right me. Right there. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, isn't that cool? Yeah. 
I'm not going to try to like, I think I figure out what it is. <laughs> okay. Well, I will say that this place is kind of incredible. Highly recommend seeing this place. It seems to be just kind of a hidden, I mean, it's all over the street signs, but I've never heard of it before. No, no, I've never heard of it either. And um, like, he told me like, oh yeah, you wanna go see an abbey? It's like spooky. I'm like, okay, he didn't show me a picture of it. Uh, he held that secret for himself, but uh, wow, it's, imp it's impressive. Hey guys, today is our last full day in Ireland. We we're both very upset about it. Hmm. Um, but today we're, we're in Kilkenny. We kind of just walked around, got some breakfast. Now we're exploring the city. Yeah, just wandering around. I don't know, we don't have a lot planned. Maybe go see a cave. Maybe go see some big caves. Maybe? Go see a cave. Yeah. Um, otherwise, it's explore, enjoy the rest of our time here in Ireland. We found St. James Gate. Jims. So we had to go because that's Jims. <laughs> Jims. Yes. We might not be able to do the caves. Well, we probably won't be doing the caves because uh, the card machine is broken and I only have a fiver left in cash, so. Um, but we found this cool old cemetery mm -hmm. and a really cool view out there, more fields. Yeah. So. It is like an old ruins of a church right there. Yeah. Up against this barn thing. Converted the church into a barn. Yeah. The holy cows. You want to go on an adventure? Yeah. James got his staff. I found a cool stick. <laughs> We're walking in the woods and he found a cool stick. He's right there at the entrance. Life is good. Big tree. Yeah. We're here in this crazy fantasy forest, just kind of 15 minutes from Kilkenny. Yep. We just drove up this narrow road next to a church. It's pretty sweet. That's a cool forest. Mm -hmm. And I got the wall right there too. Oh yeah, it's also a walled garden. Yeah, a walled garden. Well. So I don't know. I'll we'll probably walk by it again, but there's the wall there. So we stumbled across this old well Go down there. I'm going in. Wish me luck. I'll miss you. Where'd he go? Jamie? Oh my. He's been lost forever. Jamie! Who enters my abode? You used to live here. Yes. They don't got a roof. Look at how bread. That's ancient. Ancient bread. <laughs> Are you hungry? Not that hungry. Okay. Oh, hello there. This is my wizard hut. I just recently purchased it here in the central Ireland. This is where the magic happens, as they say. Nice. Come along to my ye old crib. Hey guys, we are back from Ireland. Uh, we've been home for three or four days. Just kind of trying to get back into the swing of, you know, normal life. Mm -hmm. 
Um, We're falling asleep at 8 p.m. <laughs> basically, we haven't, yeah. we haven't quite figured out the time change again. No, and I do think part of it was because uh, we went straight to work like the next day. Like we flew in, got home at like three in the afternoon, and then that next day we uh, back to work. Back to work, and I think now that's the weekend and we were able to sleep. Hopefully now we're we'll back to normal, but it was great. Loved it. Loved it. We want to go back. Uh, we have ideas for more to do. Yeah, for sure. Um, we had an entire half of a country we didn't explore. Yeah. We were, we were, we were somewhere and they, they handed us a heritage sites map. Oh, and yeah. And I looked over and we had maybe only hit like 10 of them out of like 100 or yeah. 60 or something. I was like, whoa. Yeah, there's a lot more yeah. to do. Um, but that gets me excited to go back because I absolutely loved it. As far as, as far as driving goes, it's so, it's so easy to get around. Yeah, no, I would recommend driving the, for sure. The left, the... I mean, I was obviously nervous about the left-handed yeah. driving to start with, but like going from the deep, from the Enterprise straight to like a slow kind of traffic highway or like slow residential street to a highway was a good sort of get your feet wet kind of thing to it, and it was it was pretty good. Yeah. It, it didn't scare me too much yeah. uh, on the normal roads. Um, yeah, and then when I drove for the first time, I did the opposite. Uh, I drove on small countryside roads first. You, you drove on the sheep roads. I drove on the sheep roads, which I was like, you know, if I could do this, then I could drive on the highways. Because once you drive on that, their highways are huge. Yeah. They're so wide. Yeah. Um, but no, driving, I wasn't too nervous because everyone I knew who had been over and been driving on that side said, oh, it takes like 10 or 15 minutes. Like, you'll get used to it pretty quick. Yeah. And that made me go, oh, okay, well, if they can do it, <laughs> we can do it. Although some of the, the country lanes where it's one one lane with 10 feet high hedges. Yeah, that like, one's a little... Very, like, and like, it's all windy. There's not a lot of straight, like, just just straight and, um, shots. Not a lot of those. Nope. So a lot of curves. Um, so it was a little terrifying when, like, buses or big trucks would just come, like, oh, hauling ass o around the corner. And you're like, oh! Yeah, but, I was a, the worst of that was to and from the Cliffs of Moor, I think. Yeah. Because it's, it's all windy. All in, windy. That, in that area, or going from the north to the Cliffs of Moor, it was more windy than leaving, than going away, I think. Yeah. Was that it? Yeah. yeah, I think that was right. Yeah, yeah, because especially because it was windy and like hedges and trees were overgrowing it, so you couldn't see out anywhere. You couldn't really see anything that's coming forward, <laughs> coming towards you. Yeah. And that was a little terrifying, but we didn't crash, and that's what's important. I not even my, a scratch. I got my deposit back. Yeah, and not even a scratch, so we did good. How's the food? Oh man, the food! I think it's great. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's like potatoes and meat and seafood and like all of my favorite things. We so yeah we sort of like had everything from every quality of hmm? like restaurant. Yeah. Like when we were there, we had the the gas station sausage roll for breakfast that was shockingly good. It was too good to be it from was a very gas weird. station. Food in Ireland is amazing. Yeah. I loved it. Um, I, I wouldn't don't describe think it. I had a bad meal. Yeah, the the closest thing I would say would come to a bad meal was like the super touristy Kilkenny restaurant, where it was just like average. Oh, yeah, the last night. Yeah, that that pub. Um, None of it was bad. Nothing I, was bad. Nothing was bad. We had great yeah. food. Even the oyster ice cream was good. Even the in its own way. Oh my god! Yeah, and then the Michelin star restaurant that was yeah. kind of incredible. The gas station sausage roll, Michelin star, Irish cuisine restaurant. Yeah, we went. Oh, both ends of the spectrum. Yeah. What was your favorite food? The, my favorite food? Outside of the Michelin star. I don't know. What would you order right away? Like, you can't say sausage roll. No. Okay, not sausage roll? No. Oh, the bangers and mash from the first night. The bangers and mash. That was really good. Yeah, that was really good. They were very, they were like, sausages were like super tender and the, the, the mash was like so like green oniony. So good. What was your favorite thing we did? Wandering around the Abbey. Yeah. I mean, I'm a sucker for like ruins, and that ruins like that are super cool. Oh, and I I hope it kind of translates in the video. Um, Just how big it is. How big it is, and like all like the amount of birds that you could hear oh, yeah. echoing through like the ruins just added to the <clears throat> the ambiance. It was it was incredible. Um, that's probably one of my big highlights. The Cliffs of Moher obviously are up there as well. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, There's to me it's like hard to pinpoint one thing 
But I would say, and I did say this in the video earlier, I would highly recommend seeing that Abbey if you enjoy uh, ruins of any kind. <laughs> It's only They're a, really, really cool. Yeah, it's only a, it's an easy 20 minute drive from south of Kilkenny. It's yeah. like, no problem. Yeah, it wasn't a problem at all. The roads were fine. Yeah. <laughs> they had two lanes. Two whole lanes. You know how many cars you can fit in that? Probably more than two, if you really tried. No. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I wouldn't recommend it though. Yeah, overall, Ireland was, uh, I would say, a truly magical success. Yeah, for yeah, for our first international vacation together, I think things went shockingly well. Yeah. There were no no huge disasters to speak of. The only big disaster was not having cash for the caves. Yeah. As far as I could think of. Yeah, that was really it. And that yeah. turned into not so bad of a disaster because that's when we went to that really cool park with his his stick. My my wizard staff. Yeah. You saw it. Yeah. They saw it. Yeah. Would you go on an international vacation with me again? No hesitation in a heartbeat. <gasps> Let's go right now. Okay. Where are we going? You'll see soon, <laughs> YouTube audience. Whoa, how's that for a team? Pack your bags, let's go. Okay. That way. Okay. Run. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>